So this news didn't really make me feel very good. <laughs> Hello, I apologize that I don't have eyebrows, they're disappearing. If you're new, I'm Samantha and I have breast cancer. So if you've seen some of my previous videos, you know that I had a lumpectomy and then we got the results back and all the invasive cancer was out but there was still some DCIS left in the margins. So they had to do a re-excision lumpectomy which means that they went back into the place where they cut me open before and they had to pull more stuff out. If you want to see me be loopy on anesthesia, I have two vlogs for both of those surgeries and you can watch me cry and be angry and say a lot of dumb things. Not like I don't do all those things every day, but my surgeon and I were between a lumpectomy and mastectomy for a long time and we ended up deciding on lumpectomy because I need to move on to radiation as fast as possible and a lumpectomy has a quicker recovery time and there's less chances of problems. The reason that I need to move on to radiation as fast as possible is because it'll really go in and get whatever microscopic stuff is left over in the breast and the lymph nodes. And the other reason is because my cancer spread to one of my ribs and it's not an option to go in and remove that with surgery, so radiation is the only option to treat that other than chemo, but we're done with that already. <laughs> and the cancer's still there. It's more contained, but it's still there. And we're getting farther and farther away from my last chemo date, which was July 26th, which means that nothing is really happening right now to treat the cancer. Um, I'm not on any other medication that will like stop the growth of cancer, so technically the cancer can start growing again and we don't, wow, this is scary. <laughs> we don't want that, so moving on to radiation is important. So because of these reasons, um, right before my second surgery, my surgeon told me that she and my other doctors had discussed it and as long as there was no more invasive cancer left in the margins, this would be my last surgery. If there, for some reason, was some invasive cancer left over, they would do a mastectomy at that point. Uh, just a single mastectomy on that one side. But if there was GCIS left over, they wouldn't go in and do a third surgery to try to remove more of that, even though that's what they would normally do. because. Again, they want to move on to the radiation. The radiologist person would just go in and zap that spot in my breast with more radiation and try to get rid of the DCIS that way. So this news didn't really make me feel very good. <laughs> I agree with them that it's important to move on to radiation and I think that's a good plan and I think it's the best plan. I wouldn't suggest anything else. But I kept thinking about how bad I would feel if there was still some DCIS left over and we were just like, oh, well, let's just leave it there. DCIS, which is ductal carcinoma in C2, isn't as big of a threat, obviously, as invasive ductal carcinoma, um, but it's still cancer. So that's why I've been anxiously awaiting these results even more than last time. And now I have the results and the margins are clear. I am like so happy. <laughs> All the cancer is gone from my breast and from my lymph nodes because my bad lymph nodes were removed during my first surgery. For those of you wanting to see the incision, it's been almost a week since my second surgery and I will show you that. It's kind of disgusting. Ew. Ew. Gross. Okay. I don't know if it's focusing. So it was a pretty like long incision, you can see. It looked like it was bigger before. It actually looks a lot better after the second surgery. I don't know if they like like cleaned it up better or what they did. The incision that's under my arm from taking the lymph nodes out, um, it's covered up by gauze right now and I really just don't want to take that out. So I have a picture of that. I think that this is even more disgusting than what I just showed you. Um, so if you don't want to see that, don't look, and here it comes. Most of what you see is just bruising, but you can see where the incision is, and you can see like a little circle thingy from where the drain was. I'm just so happy right now, guys. I just really wish that all the cancer was gone, you know? But this is a good start. 
I think that's all the news that I have. As always, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below or send me a message on Instagram if you want it to be more private. Like this video if you enjoyed it and check out some of my other ones. Also subscribe to support me on my cancer adventures and also hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when I post a new video. That's all. Goodbye.